to look out for those who hate me. No, I don't need to know. The Bible says the battle is the Lord. It's not yours. And what is not yours, you don't need to be keen about it. I think this person doesn't like me. I think this one, <laughs> you are just wasting your time. What you should do is to, add, is to adhere yourself to the presence of God. From that chapter 3, you move to chapter 4. God starts speaking remarkable words to King Israel Babel. Amen. And the challenges of life. He has started something and he could not finish. There were difficulties. There were mountains. There were oppositions. There were mountains and there were oppositions. And the angel, he loved God. And the angel came to him and said, Rubabel, your hand has started this work. You have laid the foundation. I don't know the foundation of life you have laid this year. Say so your hand has started. But there are mountains on your way. In verse 7. And God started addressing the mountain. Who are you, O great mountain? Before Zerubbabel, you shall become a plain. You shall become a level ground. Then he will bring out the capstone to shout of God bless it, God bless it, or which is called grace, grace, grace. With a shouting of grace. Capstone, when the house is built, there's a dot in the old architecture. That's where everything is knitted together and pinned down. A symbol of accomplishment. I pray this morning, your life will be accomplished. Say, who are you, mountain? Praise the Lord. He answered and said, this is the Lord, word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel. Say, not by might, not by my spirit, not by power, but by my spirit. Say the Lord. It was a word unto Zerubbabel. What is the word of God to you that you are holding? Any person who is not holding specific word from God will not live in victory. Don't hold, don't be carried by waves. There's a word. And the word says, look, what you are looking for is not by power. It's not by might. It's not by your energy. But by the spirit of the Lord. And this morning, we have come before God to be filled by his spirit. We are before him to be baptized with his grace by his favor. Say, all oh, this one will be done and you'll be having the song of grace upon your life. You'll be shouting grace. Grace means God's favor, God's extraordinary ability. And in this month of March, the hand of the Lord will be upon you. His grace will be available to you. As you rely on God, what your labor for years have not been able to accomplish, the Spirit of the Lord will do it for you. Amen. The import of the Spirit of the Lord is that even when there was dry bone in the valley, God commanded them. It's by His Spirit He caused them to stand. Ezekiel say he sat down and his spirit entered me and put me upon my feet. I pray this morning anyone in a lying position, physically, career-wise, spiritually, financially, the spirit of the Lord will put you upon your feet. Amen. When the bones have taken flesh, they were, I will say, and the spirit of the Lord entered them and they became great he formed man motionless and he breathed into him and the man become a living soul. The spirit of God. I pray this morning a fresh infilling of his spirit. In the Old Testament we talk about the spirit coming and going. But in the New Testament the spirit dwells in us. Are you getting it right? 
You can't have the spirit of God in you and you are lying low. It's a matter of understanding. I pray today that you shall be upon your feet. You will be upon your feet. You shall be upon your feet. Your finances will be upon his feet. Businesses and careers are picking up for you from today. Whatever you put your hand to do will no longer fall. Because you are engaged by the spirit of the Lord. He said it's the spirit that is doing it. And connected to it, say, look, no mountain stand before anyone who, in whose favor the spirit is operating. No mountain will stand before you. It may look as nothing is happening, but it's happening on your behalf. You need not to know, but what is manifest in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever I put your hands to do this year, you will accomplish it. Your dream will come to pass. Every mountain before you will come like a plain ground. So that you don't stress yourself. If you are going on a journey, the way the person climbing mountain, the energy he puts in, is different from person walking on the playground, ground. And the journey of mountain, if it's seven kilometers, the one of playing ground, if it's seven kilometers, you, you suffer more when you take the route of the mountain. From today, you will not take the route of the mountain. You get your task accomplished without stress in the mighty name of Jesus. I prophesy upon you today, life shall be much easier for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Grace shall be at work in your life. This month of March, the Lord has placed upon my heart to be declared upon us on this assembly as the month of sufficient grace. Sufficient grace. So there's no challenge of life that comes to, to you that will defeat you. No need of money that come to you that you don't have to handle it. No health issue will defeat you. There's nothing coming your way that you will not have ability to handle. That is it. So God say he will provide, he will give us, he will supply all our needs according to his riches. The riches of God of heavens is on list on you all through this month and beyond. The type of accomplishments you are not achieved this month, you witness it. Even the church will witness on parallel growth because the spirit of the Lord will be operating. The spirit of the Lord will command men and women from all corners of this environment to locate here. The spirit of the Lord. Can you pray this morning? I say, Lord, thank you for your spirit to work in my favor. I'm going in the power of the spirit. I'm going in the power of the Spirit. I'm going in the power of the Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says, And Jesus went in the power of the Spirit, and his fame spread abroad. You are moving forward in the power of the Spirit. Moving forward in the power of the Spirit. You are moving forward in the power of the Spirit. I'm moving forward in the power of the Spirit. Lord, in the name of Jesus. I'm going forth in the power of the Spirit. I'm living here this morning in the power of the Spirit. Your fame will spread. Your fame will spread. Your greatness will spread. Your prosperity will spread. Your name will spread. Your influence will spread. In the name of Jesus, anyone who moves in the power of the Spirit experiences increase. In Jesus, precious name, we have prayed. I'm closing with this statement. The Bible says, Jesus left in the power of the Spirit. Isn't it? And his fame did what? Increase. His fame spread abroad. Because he went in the power of the Spirit. You are living here this morning in the power of the Spirit. You'll be ten times, hundred times greater than last month. So whatever you go, know that there's a spirit walking in you. The spirit of the Lord walking. So you can't experience losses. So when they talk about it, you know, there's, his, there's the spirit of the Lord walking. And you have entered this mall with the spirit. He left 
in the spirit. And his fame spread abroad. I decree increase. I decree wide influence. People who didn't know you before will begin to know you. I decrease enlargement of coast in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree enlargement of your coast. I, de I, increase, I decree enlargement of your coast. Your base will spread. You are moving up in the power of the spirit. Make more gains. Make more profit. Have more connection. Grow in spirit. Grow in faith. Grow in worship of God. In Jesus' precious name. Precious Lord, I declare your word this morning. Your children are released in your spirit. The Bible says, Jesus himself said, the glory you give to me, the same I'll give to them. As you, as, and as he is, we are also according to scripture. After I've been tempted 40 days and 40 nights, the Bible says he left in the power of the spirit. Like Joshua, you shouldn't have come before you, they stood before you this morning. And you have made us priests unto yourself. Lord, I pray, I release everyone here in the power of your spirit. And because they are going the power of your spirit, every obstacle, every mountain before them shall be made plain. Rivers will see them and part away. Mountain will see them and skip like ground. Enemy will see them afar and recognize them and give way. When Jesus left, the maniac saw him say, Oh, Jesus, why have you come to destroy us before our time? From today, nobody here will be at the mercy of those who hate him. You will not be at the mercy of those who hate you. You will not be at the mercy of those who hate you. Spread. Increase. Make prospects. Take the land. Take the land. Take the land. Obstacles are removed because you are going in the power of the Spirit. Go and return with testimony. This month will end with you well. Amen. This month will stabilize your feet on solid rock. Amen. There shall be discovery. Amen. There shall be revelation. Amen. There shall be insight. Amen. There shall be knowledge of what to do. Amen. New contact and connection will come your way. Amen. There is a turn around. And above all, there is an increase of his word in this place. Amen. And there are men and women drawn to feed on the table of his communion. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. God bless you and do you good. Congratulations. Welcome to.